Hi and welcome to Northern Kiwi. This is the second tutorial on variables in Scratch. We've what we've done already so far is set up our, you know, when the up arrow is pressed. I'm just going to modify this and change it to space, just because it's a little bit easier, bigger button to press. And we've still got our change score by one. So each time I press it, the score goes up. And the, when the green flag is clicked, it is resetting. So we're doing two things to variables. We're instantiating it, so setting it up, and then modifying the variable. What we want now is that when we get have set a win condition for our game, so when we get a score to a certain value, we want to go to an entirely new scene or a stage. So what we're going to do is just go and add in some extra stages. So in this case, it could be if you get to a score or some sort of event that happens, you could go to a new level. But in our case, all we're doing is just going to make a win scene. So I'm going to just give a nice sort of green background for backdrop 2 and add in some text. Got to change that color back. So this text is going to be, you know, the U win text. So that what ha what we want to have happen is that when we get a score to a certain point, we go to backdrop two. Okay, so we're back on our sprite one and our scripts. So we need to think when we're going to check that. So when I press the space key, I want to change the score by one. So yep, that's good. And then I want to check to see if something happens. So if my score is equal to 5, then I want to go to background 2. So let's do the, what we want it to do first. So I want moat looks, and I want to switch the backdrop to backdrop 2. But if I do this now, it's not going to work, because I haven't actually put in the condition yet. So what I need to do is go to my operators, and I've got some logical ones. So less than, equal to, more than. I'm going to want to do if it's equal to. So I'm going to drag it in, and the score I want to check is if it's equal to 5. And in my data tab, I've got score. I can drag that into the other side. So if score equals 5, then switch the backdrop. So now when I run this, 3, 4, Five, it's gone on to the U win stage. You can stop it, replay it, but we've got it still another problem. When I restart the game, it's still stuck on that win state. So I need to make sure I reset everything back to default when I basically start the game. So we've now got a game that is basically you know running around. What we can do is you could add it what an extra extension activity would be is going through and adding in you know, an enemy that moves around and if you touch the enemy then you go to a losing scene. I'm not going to show you how to do that, it's the exact same principle, so I want you, that's something you should actually have a go at doing yourself.